Have you ever asked yourself one question? Why am I fighting? What battle is it that you're facing? Whether it be at home, at work, financially, have you hit rock bottom? Who do you look for for help? Who do you put your trust in? Who do you hope in? Ah! There you go, everybody. This is a fee. This is for Craig. <laughs> yep, and I caught a fish. Come here, buddy. I bet I left that marker at the house. <sighs> mm, well, I gotta have my number. I got it. Twenty-six. It's like fifty bucks, I think. <coughs> they already bought the kayak. There we go. Ah, get back in here. Yeah, I think they're starting to wake up. That's why I say we probably need to go back down it. Look at this one. Throw him back out. You think? You can use him. Say what? 
I'm using for bait. Yeah, right. Yeah. How did you get a hold of that? <laughs> Bigger than he was. <laughs> I said, I done hung another rock, that little thing come up there. It's greasy. <laughs> That's what you call ambition right there. He's going he was gonna eat for the whole day in one minute. He's a monster, all right. Woo! -hoo! Look at the size of that killer. <laughs> so at the beginning of this video, I asked you, how do you fight your battles? What battles are you fighting daily? that you're trying to do on your own. There are ways around that will help you to get past the battles that you fight. Is there not going to be another battle in the future? Oh, I guarantee you there's plenty more coming. But it's nice to know that we have someone who is always there for us, that no matter what battle we face, he's going to guide us through it. And that comes from our Lord, our Savior. And I'm going to read this Bible, these Bible verses to you. It comes out of Psalms, it's chapter 4. This is David talking to God. It says, you hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You have, <clears throat> excuse me, you have relieved me in my distress. Have mercy on me and hear my prayer. How long? O oh, you sons of men, will you turn my glory to shame? How long will you love worthlessness and seek falsehood? But know that the Lord has set apart for himself him who is godly. The Lord will hear when I call to him. Be angry and do not sin. Meditate within your heart on your bed and be still. And towards the end of it, the very last verse of this chapter is, I will both lie down in peace and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. Too many times we try to fight battles on our own. We try to look for help in politics. If you ain't looked around today, politics is not gonna get you where you need to be in life. But it's not about this earth. It's not about the things here. It's about what we look forward to further past life. Some people choose to believe, some people don't. God sent his son Jesus to this earth to die for us. That right there shows you that he loves you enough that he will help you through any battle that you face, no matter how big or how small. Are you having problems in your marriage? God can help. Are you having problems financially? God can help. Are you having problems at work? I do every day. But you know what? I have someone who surrounds me and protects me and guides me every day. All you got to do is ask. It's that easy. He sits on his throne every day and waits for us to ask him, knock, the door shall be open. Ask and receive. But you can't be selfish with it. It can't be for your benefit because if you bring selfishness in, then you're gonna become a selfish person because it's always gonna be about you. It's not about you, it's not about me. It's about those around us. Who can we help, who can we get through past whatever they're facing. I just had this, you know, I feel like God laid this on my heart because 
I think too many people look for answers in all the wrong places. God never promised that this life would be easy. It's not. Every day we're going to face a battle. Every day we're going to face a struggle. You know, no matter if it's something very minute, very small, but how much easier would it be to get through that if you got Christ on your side, the one who died for us, he loves you enough that he sacrificed his life to save us that you don't think he wouldn't help you through something that minute or that minuscule. I hope you enjoyed the video with my pops. We had fun at the old Oak Tibby Reservoir in Lauderdale County. Some people call it the Dead Sea. They are hard to catch, but there is places you can find them. I love y'all so much. I thank y'all so much. Remember to do the old like, comment, subscribe. Share this video. Who do you know that's facing battles? Who do you know that looks in all the wrong places for happiness, for joy, for peace? You ain't going to find it on this earth. I promise you. Money won't buy it. Gifts won't get it. I'm telling you. I did it for years myself. Selfishness. It always leads to destruction. I love y'all. I thank y'all. God bless.